In this video, we are going to be talking about different types of joints. So, assuming we have two data sets, data set A and data set B, in order to join these two tables together, they must have a column in common. So, I have these images here as an example. Okay, so you have this data set right here. You have this data set right here. So this data set has a column called animal names. You can join this data set with this data set because this data set also has a column called animal names. So you can join these two tables together. But then there's this other data set. There's this data set called, uh, that has animal names, animal scientific names and country. And then there's this third data set. You cannot join this data set with this data set directly because they don't have any columns in common. If you wanted to join this data set with this data set, you have to first join this data set with this data set using animal names and then join the resulting data set with this one using city. Okay, so basically, if you wanted to join this data set and this data set that doesn't have any columns in common, you have to use this one as an as an intermediary. But don't worry too much about that right now. Basically, the point I'm trying to get across is that for you to join two data sets, they have to have two. They have to have a column with the, the same names. And there are different types of joins that you can do. So if you want to learn more about, about how to do different types of joins, you can go to this URL right here. It's a YouTube playlist that I created that basically shows you how to do different types of joins. If you want to learn more about it. With inner join, the result of an inner join is that Columns that are common between data frames A and B will be returned and any row or data that is not present in both A and B will be dropped. With other join, all the columns from A and B will be returned and any data that doesn't match between A and B will be replaced with NAN. And then with left join, all the columns from the left data frame will be returned. Anything from the right data frame that matches left data frame will be returned. And anything that doesn't match will be replaced with NAN. And right join is the vice versa to left join. And I know this doesn't make a whole lot of sense, especially if this is the first time you are encountering joins. But don't worry, as I do this demonstration, joins will make a lot of a lot more sense what we mean by inner join outer join and left join now of course if you want to learn more about it you can go to this url and look at this playlist but for right now let's jump into tableau and let me show you examples of inner outer left and right join let's go